Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how to use sodium hydroxide solution to identify certain metal ions. You should then be able to write balanced chemical equations for these tests. And this is for triple chemistry students only. In the last video we saw how to test for certain metal ions using flame tests. And I'm showing you the five that you need to learn here. Now we can also test for certain metal ions using their reaction with sodium hydroxide solution. And that's what we're looking at in this video. I'd strongly recommend that you learn all of these tests. They often come up in exams. I'm showing you here solutions of calcium ions, magnesium ions and aluminium ions. If we add sodium hydroxide solution to these ions, then they all produce a white precipitate like this. Now that's a problem as we cannot distinguish between these three tests. They all produce a white precipitate. However, if we add excess sodium hydroxide solution, then the aluminium precipitate redissolves. So that allows us to tell which of our three ions is aluminium. However, we'd need to do flame tests to work out which one's calcium. Now we can write balanced chemical equations for these reactions. I'm showing the equation for calcium here. In this case, I'm using calcium nitrate, but it would also work for other soluble calcium compounds. As you can see, we're mixing calcium nitrate solution with sodium hydroxide solution. We're making sodium nitrate solution and calcium hydroxide precipitate. And we can tell that calcium hydroxide is a precipitate as it's got the state symbol for a solid. I'm showing you the other equations here, and this shows all three of the insoluble metal hydroxides that form the precipitates. Okay, now we can use sodium hydroxide solution to test for three other metal ions. And we're going to look at those now. Copper 2 ions react with sodium hydroxide to form a blue precipitate of copper 2 hydroxide. And I'm showing you the equation for that reaction here. Iron 2 ions react with sodium hydroxide to form a green precipitate of iron 2 hydroxide. And here's the equation. And finally, iron 3 ions react with sodium hydroxide to form a brown precipitate of iron 3 hydroxide. And again, here's the equation. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on testing for metal ions using sodium hydroxide in my revision workbook. And you can get that by clicking on the link above.